Hello and welcome to the talk on Pixel Recurrent Neural Networks for Generative Models offered by the Stanford Scholar Initiative. Let us start by understanding generative modeling. Generative models are those models which can generate new samples like images, sound, etc. from scratch given a training data. Thus, given input data X and label Y for X, generative models calculate the joint probability P of X comma Y. This joint probability, P of x, y, is then used to generate new samples. Generative image modeling finds its application in many areas like image compression, image classification, image reconstruction, and generation of images based on text description. These are a few key obstacles to generate tractable, high-quality images. These are the different types of generative models. We can see pixel RNN comes under autoregressive models. In these models, we predict a pixel given all previously generated pixels. We need a model that can handle such sequences such as an RNN. Unlike traditional CNN, which extract information independent of time, the architecture of an RNN allows the information to persist. Here, as we can see, the hidden units A takes input X and outputs H. The loop helps the information of one state to be passed to the next state. RNNs are vulnerable to long-term dependencies. That's why LSTMs were developed to address this issue. LSTM networks add gates to an RNN so that it can have long-term memory. Unlike the previous approaches which model an image as continuous value, this paper focuses on modeling the distribution of image pixel by pixel, row by row to generate a complete image. The conditional distribution of each pixel is calculated as given in equation 1. For an RGB image, each pixel has three channels. So the distribution can be rewritten as shown in equation 2. Here channel green is conditioned on channel red and channel blue is conditioned on channel red and green. This paper describes novel generative models that directly model the dependencies between the pixels. First is pixel RNN which has two models row LSTM and diagonal by LSTM. Second is pixel CNN and third is multi-scale pixel RNN. The prediction of pixels depends on previously generated pixels from other channels as shown. Masking is used to moderate this process. Row LSTM is a unidirectional LSTM layer. For a single pixel, the layer captures a triangular context above it to remove the dependencies among the pixels during training. LSTM layer has an input to state component and a recurrent state to state component that together determine the gates of the layer. Not all pixels before the target pixel were considered. Thus, the author proposes a diagonal by LSTM which feeds the pixels above, left and right into the LSTM to compute the target pixel. By LSTM layer has two directions, scanning the image across from top to bottom. Initially, the image is skewed as shown on the left. Later, the output map is skewed back by removing the offset. As the layers increase to 12, there is a strong possibility of problems regarding gradient. For example, the gradient might become too small to allow efficient learning. As shown, the residual connection skips a block of layers and this helps in direct propagation of signals. It solves some of these problems and helps in increasing the convergence speed. As row and diagonal LSTM have an unbounded dependency range within the receptive field, the computation of each state happens sequentially and hence takes more time. To speed up the generation process, the author proposes pixel CNN using which we can compute features for all pixel positions at once. All the models are trained and evaluated by finding the log likelihood function. It is currently best practice to add the real valued noise to the pixel values to dequantize the data when using density functions so that the log likelihoods of continuous and discrete models are directly comparable. Let us articulate the outcomes from this paper. This paper has shown that the pixel RNN significantly improve the state of the art on the MNIST and CIFAR 10 datasets. It is also stated that they provide new benchmarks for generative image modeling on the ImageNet dataset. The negative log likelihood of the MNIST was taken in the conventional NATS and that of CIFAR 10 and ImageNet was taken in bits per dimension. As you can see from the table, the performance of diagonal by LSTM is the best ever reported result on both these MNIST and CIFAR 10 datasets. Although we didn't have any previous work on the ImageNet, LSTM seemed to have set a benchmark here. Due to the diversity of training on datasets such as the ImageNet, a complex range of images can be generated across a varied set of landscapes. Different textures are surprisingly well handled. Based on the samples and completions drawn from the models, 
we can conclude that the pixel RNNs are able to model both spatially local and long range correlations in images. This paper introduces three novel generative models including pixel RNNs and CNN with a unique architecture. It demonstrates their superior performance over others on certain standard datasets and concludes with the samples of tractable images generated using these models. We hope this was an interesting experience. For more talks, visit scholar.stanford.edu. Thank you for your time.